this one's going to be fun, right? Penny's organised a surprise beer. And I don't quite know what it is, so I've got no idea. So, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't taste bad. I trust him. He knows what he's doing. Oh, he's coming out now. What have we got? Oh, no, he won't even show me. He's not even showing me the label. Hold on. It's not a wheat beer. No, 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 I'll tell you what, I'm going to do this. You sit down, put it on the table. Okay. okay. Hang on, no, so get, your mic, get your microphone on. Get your microphone on. <laughs> On. You ready? On. Okay, right, so you ready? Okay, so I've got no idea what this beer is, and let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Have you had it before? Uh, not for a long, long time. You have had it before? I, I think I've had it once before, yeah, not for a long time though, but hey, it's, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's even got Mark on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> yeah. No, this looks. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going for that. I'm, I'm game. Yeah, I mean, it's... A Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, guys, I'm Mark. <laughs> I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys, and today we're going to be trying... Thirsty Ferret. Why not? <laughs> it's, it, I picked this because it was my turn to pick the beers, and I thought I'm going to pick a special beer that's close to my heart. Yep. It's one of my dad's favourites, and do you know how he first started drinking it? So my dad was a welder, and basically he was working down in Southampton, and he was there 82 to 86. Okay. And basically, the company he was subcontracting for, so not himself, went on strike. So, what does a young man down at a place that's from the Wirral, this little Birkenhead, decide to do? Well, let's go to the local brewery. Yeah. <laughs> so, Why not? He used to drink at a pub, and it was called The Southerner, down in uh, Southampton. And they used to serve Badger beer. Not Thirsty Ferret, but Badger beer. So they went, it's crap beer here, the Badger beer, didn't like it. He goes, let's go to the brewery. So he went to the brewery, tasted it, and was like, this is bloody lovely. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that pub just wasn't... The pub wasn't obviously just wasn't that. clearing the line. So he went to the brewery and he went, this is amazing. I mean, it, it's not, he went on they went on strike a few times. He said that he went to, one of them, he went on strike and they went to the Isle of Man. He goes, I went to the pub nearest the Isle of Man, got on the ferry, got to the pub. The first pub out of the Isle of Man, got the very back and went, what did you see there? He went, the pub, <laughs> just the pub, and that was it. So, I mean, this is a guy that said that he used to go to the pub on a Sunday at 11 uh, p.m., stay there till 11, sorry, 11 a.m., stay there till 11 p.m., and then go get Chinese and go home. So, um, and then the Thirsty Ferret, originally brewed at the Gribble Inn, so uh, 1991 in Dorset, so uh, obviously on the, on the south coast. It's now owned by a company called Hall and uh, Woodhouse. <laughs> Originally, it was started off Charles Hall, 1777. Uh, owned a brewery, uh, and basically started buying a couple of pubs. They now own 250 pubs. Wow. Yeah, his, his son then um, met up with a guy called George Woodhouse. They joined and become Hall and Woodhouse. So yeah, like I say, 250 pubs. Bought this, and they then sold the pub back to the landlord in 2005 but they got to keep the rights of the Thirsty Ferret. Okay. Called Thirsty Ferret, basically apparently a ferret broke in to the uh, the cellar and started drinking from the cask. Wow. Apparently, ferret in Latin is a uh, thief. So, you know, perfectly suiting. Um, the badger beer, basically the, the, the label has always had a badger on it. And then when they redesigned it, they just made the badger more of a focus. Okay. And then become badger beers. Some little information that other people might not know out there, they actually market Rio. The, the, the drink, drink, the soft the, drink, the, soft drink, the yeah. fruit, okay. fruit flavoured soft drink, yeah, so uh, fruit juice with sparkling water, and they used to manufacture Panda Pop. <laughs> How the, crazy the, is that? The cheap, the cheap drink you get on the way home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, um, but yeah, like I say, it's got a special heart. 21 before come back from uni and stuff like that. You know, being a tight student, Dad, what beers you got in the fridge? Oh, I've got a couple of thirsty ferrets. I remember he used to get them in tins and he used to come back at Christmas and he used to keep them outside the house so to put them in the fridge. Cheap, cheap fridge. <laughs> yeah, cheap the fridge, cheap fridge, yeah. <laughs> so, um, 4.1 4. Uh, if you can find it in cask in your local pub, 4.4 uh, fil and filtered in the bottle. Yeah, I was going to say in the bottle it already looks crystal clear, that's yeah. definitely a filtered beer. 4.4%, 500ml bottle and uh, I'm looking forward to editing this video because it even says on the back, full bodied biscuity taste. 
My biscuit head is biscuit. already a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we crack these open, yeah, get them in the glass see and see how they look, yeah? Oh, there we go. Lovely colour in it for an ale. That sort of golden. So it's a golden amber. It's, it smells great. I can I can smell it already. I've poured I've poured terribly. Oh, it looks it's so clear. I mean, there is something good to be said about getting the breweries from uh, beers from the big breweries because obviously they're they're filtering things within an inch of their lives, and it it just looks great. Yeah, it really does look great. So, from the bottle, it's saying a Morrissey Multi Amber Ale. Dark crystal malt, so obviously, you know, you should get a sweet bodiness, full body biscuity taste, like you were saying, round off with subtle flora and lemon hop aroma. Say biscuit again. Biscuit. There you go. Well, <laughs> we're both in the same city, surely we say it the same? No, no, no keep saying biscuit. Biscuit. Oh, my head's just becoming a biscuit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I love the colour of the head as well. Yeah. It's, it's sort of, uh, how would you describe that? Sort off of white. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just. I'm sure if, if my wife was trying to decorate the house, there's a thousand different names for that colour, but uh, you know, it's, yeah. it looks great though. I can read the Oyster Boys Brewing Company logo through that glass. I mean, look, just... Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Do you need the Bible or...? Uh, no, we don't. We know you can read that. I mean, you can probably read the back of this bottle through it there, I think, if we were to do that. Let's just get the last of that in there. And one thing I want to say at this point, if you, uh, if you haven't done it already, if you can just drop down, hit the like button down there, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe as well because we've got new videos coming out semi-regularly depending on how often I edit things and it really helps us if you join in with what we're doing yeah exactly just join the fun yeah join the fun hopefully we'll have a website come in once you've reviewed enough beers and you can just keep on top of the progress and all the different reviews that's going out there all I want is someone to write back and go do you know what you've influenced what beers I've had at the weekend and I'll be happy yeah man. we'd love it <laughs> we'd love it so but Again, looking at this beer though, I mean, it's, it's it, it looks great. How it's, good is that colour? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it. That's a, that, I mean, that's a, that's a nine beer. That's a nine beer. Yeah, it's a nine for me as well. It really is. I love it. Bits of carbonation as well. Um, I'm excited to give it a smell. I, 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 I get, like I said, I can smell it already. It's. Oh yeah, that's biscuity. That in it, heads already a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's malt, malty. There's biscuit, and you really can yeah, smell yeah. that lemon. The, yeah. the, the lemon really, really hits hits through the, yeah. and the I, malt smell. And with ales, you do tend, because they ferment at a slightly higher temperature than lager, you do tend to get more of that sort of... <laughs> you get that malty, the malty smell more. Yeah, the malty smell, it. but you get the, the flavours from the yeast. Yes. They, they do produce, you know, your, the ethers from the yeast, you really get the... The they play esters, it, esters, the, isn't it? Esters, yeah. they play a part in, in, in the ales, and English ales, you know, it's well, bread and butter at the end of the day, isn't yeah. it? So, bit, but, I mean, smell it wise... Uh, I mean, that's great. That's great. No, normally for me, I wouldn't be the kind of guy who's going to go out of his way and get like a, a you know, a bitter or an or, or anything like that. But this, this looks great and it smells fantastic. That, le smell good that lemon smell. hop is really, really good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for a, for an eight two. It's, it's an eight two on the it's smell an eight, front. Eight, eight for me, yeah. It's an eight for me. It's. I like it. Well, I'm looking forward to the, to the next bit more. I'm looking forward to seeing what this beer tastes like. So, cheers. Cheers. Wow. It's every bit that I remember it. It's got the flavour. So much biscuit. It's first quenching. <laughs> so much biscuit. There's a lot of biscuit, but it's not sweet though. You know, sometimes no. we've had the uh, the hells that have been really sweetness. It's biscuit, but like someone's forgot to put the sugar maybe in a good way. Sounds like the best kind of biscuit, really, that. <laughs> but no, it's absolutely fantastic. It, it does taste good. And that lemon hop aroma, you it's, can it's taste that the end, in there it, as well. Yeah. It's really at the end, you know. Again, it's a long taste. You, it really develops in your mouth. But it tastes great. Nice carbonation as well. It's not yeah. too heavy on the bubbles. Obviously, it's an ale, so you wouldn't expect it to be too, too heavy carbonated. So um, I really like it. I'm, I'm really going like to go it. for a 7.9. Uh, well, it, it's it's definitely a beer close to my heart. It's an 8.2 for me. Well, I'm breaking the mould today, aren't I? Mm. Maybe it's because being in the home arena, the home advantage of, of breaking the mould. But yeah, <laughs> uh, an 8.2. I really, really like this beer. I, I knew I liked it anyway. I'd, I'd sentimental and I'd go. F I'd I'd request it at a bar. Um, yet to find the cask version. So if anyone knows a place in the northwest that sells it on cask comment yeah, that will be the 
We will be there reviewing it. Oyster Boys on top. Oyster we'll Boys you, on top. We'll buy you a pint for re recommending where it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 8.2 for me. So really good. So um, uh, Price-wise, I don't know how much this costs. This was the surprise beer. But I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to be very reasonable. So, <laughs> like, what's uh, reasonable for you? It's well, I'll, I'll tell you what. It's from a supermarket. Yeah, and I think this is going to be one of those beers that is in a supermarket on one of the sort of you know three for a fiver kind of that section of the yeah their, yeah, their yeah. craft beer section, which doesn't have much craft beer in, but these ales are yeah. on like three five pound or four for mm. six or something like that. I think I think this is going to be one of those beers. Okay, so one pound fifty. Four for six. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> Nailed it! Yeah. yeah! Now I can see the picture of the guy from um, Hangover doing the massacres in his head. <laughs> but yeah, one, one pound fifty, that's great. That Isn't really it? is Isn't great. It? Yeah. How many good beers do you get in 500 mil for one pound fifty? I see cans of beer now that are like three pound fifty for a can of beer. For a 330? Yeah. yeah. But I it's mean, in a can, it's not even a glass bottle. At least with the glass bottle. You know you how really my feelings it. on glass bottles, but clear bottle, which is strange actually, because obviously they say that effects for anyway, for one pound fifty for three hundred ml and for such a fantastic beer. Yeah. I think that's really good. Yeah, I mean price wise it's gotta be a, a I'm gonna go eight eight. Uh, eight eight. Nine for me. One pound fifty for a great beer like that. Yeah, one pound fifty. Uh, eight nine. <laughs> <laughs> God. And uh, but sessionability as well. Okay, so it's a bit, uh, bit dark for me to say. I was going to say, it's a bit dark for me. Uh, obviously, the, the biscuit aroma as well. Um, I mean, as you can say, it's not, there's no struggle getting it down. Yeah. And, <laughs> and to be honest, when me and my dad drink these, we'd always have a shot of whiskey as well. Maybe I we should have brought that out, but you wouldn't like that. Oh. <laughs> it really help. We always have a thirsty ferret and a shot, uh, a shot of scotch. So, uh, okay. straight up. So, we, we weren't sessioning, sessioning them. <laughs> Should I say? Um, so uh, it's a 4.5 for me, and that's nothing against the beer. That's it's it is a heavy beer. No, I, I, I'm I'm similar, but I'm going to go for. I'm just going to go uh, straight full. Four straight pints, four yeah. pints, and then I think oh, God, I'm full. It's it, the dark beer. Dark I, I always... crystal malt, isn't it? It's and it's nothing against the beer. It's a fantastic beer. But... Full, full of biscuits by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like eating a whole pack of digestives. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I think that's really fair of us. So. Um, are you going to do some quick maths? Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Okay, guys, scores are in. This is the Oyster score for this beer. Uh, if you like what we've done, check the description down below. We've got all the Oyster scores for all the other beers. Told you before, but like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about it. And if you've got a beer that you like and you've enjoyed, tell us about it. Please. Yeah, absolutely. But for now, that's been a review. Oyster's yeah. out.